So today, what we're demonstrating is, a, is a, the solution that we take into account when we've lost transmission to the, to the core network. So this can work anywhere without any connection to the core network. We're going to be going over the satellite connection. It's a geostationary satellite from Avanti, which is a solution we're also using for ESN. You'll see the same thing from the rapid response vehicle later today. And so we'll be making calls over that solution with a small set in the balloon, um, power cable going to the, uh, the kit over there in the green uh, stand, and then a satellite connection providing the backhaul connection back to our core. That's a geostationary satellite, so many people said that with geostationary satellites, obviously there's a, there's a small latency delay, and therefore you can't get high speeds and you can't make multi calls. But we'll demonstrate today that that's not the case, and that uh, the technical solution we have implemented allows us to do, do make multi calls, and the uh, geostationary delay, which is about half a second, it's imperceptible to the end user. And hopefully you'll see that later today. And you can see we have a solution of the drone now. The problem with the drone, drone, as you can see, there's no tether here. We can't do a tethered solution. However, in this case, there's no tether. So obviously the big limitation here is the battery life of the drone itself. So without a tether, you're looking at about half an hour uh, maximum. The other issue is obviously the more uh, battery life you need, um, the more weight uh, is required. That pico cell there that you're seeing is the smallest we can get, it's about 2.3 kilos. Now, the wider the coverage you want to reach, the heavier the weight today. So that's why today we're focusing on the balloon solution, but drone technology is moving so fast that we believe in the next year or two we'll be getting, you know, being able to have bigger and faster drones and uh, carry uh, more powerful small cells to increase the coverage. But this would be used with very, very focused 100 meter, 200 meter coverage. The balloon could go up to five kilometers. The height of the balloon at the moment we tested up to 100, uh, 120 meters, so it can give up to five kilometers of the maximum reach. And we could even chain in the rural areas. We can also chain these balloons by using parallel wireless mesh small cells by taking them all together. The reason why this is so unique in the world, and the reason why we're putting in a patent, is that it's a 4G small cell. Uh, there are versions that are out there in Japan in particular, SoftBank is on a version, but that's a repeater for Wi-Fi only. Mm -hmm. But this is why this is a totally innovative solution, because nobody's done it with 4G, uh, with a small cell, or with mesh small cells. What's interesting is that you have a range of solutions. So you've got the satellite-based solution here, you've got the mesh small cell solution. Mm -hmm. In that case, you don't need to use a satellite swing, so then you get a much better latency. Mm -hmm. We've got the network in a box solution, so with Nokia, we tested on the drone, you can have a whole virtualized core network on the drone. Um, which means that you don't even need any backhaul, so locally you can have a complete network. Mm 